Cutting straight across now to these visuals coming in of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi greeting the UAE President. This of course is a crucial moment as far as uh, the relationship between the two sides is concerned. Remember, Prime Minister Modi and the UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan uh, will uh, in some time from now also be leading a road show uh, from outside the Sardar, uh, Sardar Vallabhai uh, Patel International Airport in Ahmedabad. This is a day ahead of the inauguration of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. These visuals coming in of the Indian Prime Minister receiving the UAE President. अभी हाल ही में भारत संयुक्त अरब अमीरात के बीच अगर आर्थिक समझौतों की बात की जाए आर्थिक भागीदारी की बात की जाए तो व्यापक आर्थिक भागीदारी समझौते के कार्यान्वयन का भी एक वर्ष पूरा हुआ है और दोनों देशों के बीच एक ऐतिहासिक मुक्त व्यापार समझौता यानी कि फ्री ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट भी है ये हम व्यापारिक आर्थिक रिश्तों की बात कर रहे हैं The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has received the UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and in some time from now the two leaders will be leading a grand road show. This is going to be a three kilometer long mega road show which is set to kick off in some time from now after uh, the welcome formalities are completed. The procession will basically be wrapping up at Indra Bridge, connecting Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar. Uh, let's go straight across now to our correspondent uh, who's been tracking uh, those developments. Disha, explain to us first of all the significance of this road show which is taking place ahead of that summit and uh, the kind of participation that we are going to be witnessing. Well, definitely in few minutes from now we will be seeing a mega road show by leaders uh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and UAE President uh, who has just landed at the Ahmedabad airport and Narendra Modi the Prime Minister has received him as we speak and the road that you see is the exact road where the road show is going to take place in few minutes from now as we can already see you know couple of VIP cars have already started coming in uh, on this specific route it is going to go till Indira Nagar which is about three kilometers from our present location as you can see you know the couple of VIP cars have already started coming in right outside from the airport uh, we've also come to know uh, that uh, you know and uh, the crowd here is like you know in thousands is what we can say because uh, Ahmedabad citizens have come here in huge numbers we can see Prime Minister Narendra Indra Modi here, uh, uh, you know, in the car with uh, the UAE president. We just saw him uh, over there. Uh, and All right, we'll just try and reconnect that uh, line with our correspondent who is on the ground, uh, getting us up to speed with the latest in terms of uh, the preparations and also the participation. Now, remember, for those of you just joining us, uh, the Indian Prime Minister has just received the UAE President, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, and this is uh, ahead of that road show which is going to be taking place um, coming a day ahead of the inauguration of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. A lot of significance attached to the very fact 
that we are seeing this summit taking place uh, with such enthusiasm. This three-kilometer long road show uh, will be um, uh, starting and culminate. This will basically be culminating at Indra Bridge. Now, this bridge uh, connects Ahmedabad with Gandhi Nagar, and uh, from that bridge circle, the two dignitaries will then head to their respective destinations in Gandhi Nagar. Uh, that is what the uh, uh, evening is going to look like. And let's uh, go back now to our correspondent uh, who's been tracking those developments. Go ahead, Disha, with the point you were making. Also, um, the significance of uh, this vibrant Gujarat summit which is taking place uh, when it comes to the preparations uh, uh they have been uh, dominating headlines in the run-up as well because there's so much uh, anticipation attached to that event itself. Tell us more about the preparations that have been underway for that summit specifically. Sorry, because of the network problem, I was unable to hear your, your question. If you can repeat once again. So, sure, uh, Disha, I was asking you, tell us more about the preparations ahead of the vibrant uh, Gujarat summit as we've been discussing. Uh, this is a major event, a major business event that comes with a lot of significance for the business community there as well. Well, absolutely, and it has been dubbed as one of the biggest gatherings that this year the summit is going to see. And that is visible with the amount of, you know, uh, awareness that is being done on the ground level. You can see, you know, the posters, big holdings of Vibrant Gujarat 2022 being put up everywhere across the city. And not only in this specific roadshow route, but everywhere if you see, you know, the Vibrant Gujarat uh, is there something which is visible. And more than one lakh uh, visitors are expected to participate in this uh, Vibrant Summit uh, from 133 countries. This itself is very significant as we speak. More than 20,000 deals are going to be expected to sign. We, are, we also saw that today morning before uh, inauguration of the Global Trade Show, uh, pr the Prime Minister Narendra Modi did have a meeting, a closed door meeting with a lot of CEOs and in the next two days also that will continue. We are going to witness, uh, you know, major, major talks 
basically on e-mobility, green energy, electric vehicles, manufacturing, which is the need of the hour as we speak. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are also looking at participation of the foreign companies, uh, the representatives of Microsoft, Google, Toyota, all of them are going to be there in attendance, especially when we talk about uh, Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. And it is going to be uh, a summit to, uh, where the participation is going to be in huge numbers. Like I spoke, one lakh uh, visitors from foreign as well as uh, domestic uh, investors. Right, Adisha, uh, for those of our viewers who are just joining us, uh, just a quick uh, round up for what we are witnessing. Uh, the Vibrant Gujarat Summit, like we just discussed, comes with a lot of anticipation. It will see the participation when it comes to the business community leaders. But at the same time, we are looking at the preparations that have been underway for this road show as well. Disha, tell us more about the security arrangements because this in itself was a mammoth um, uh, event in terms of the organization and the scale and the magnitude involved. talk about security more than 10,000 security personals have been deployed if I can ask my video journalist to show you at each and every corner of the roadshow route you can see security personals here being deployed and uh, to manage the entire situation to manage the crowd because uh, you know not in uh, not in hundreds but thousands of citizens have gathered here you know on this three kilometer route just to uh, catch the glimpse of the two leaders coming together and as you can see the crowd is dispersing because uh, you know they have seen they have caught the glimpse of the two leaders when they uh, you know passed this uh, route so as we speak of course the preparations here were in full swing you can see the entire area being lit, lit up uh, um, the, with lights, with hoardings, with India and UAE flags as well. And uh, this roadshow was uh, anticipated. Uh, and I'll also show you the uh, you know uh, visual over there as well. If I can ask my video journalist to show you the count of right. crowd that has right. really Our come in huge Disha, numbers. Uh, getting us up to speed with the latest from on the ground. Unfortunately, we're completely out of, out of time in this edition. But we will, of course, come back to our correspondent who's been getting us uh, the latest from on the ground as far as that road show is concerned coming a day ahead of the inauguration of the vibrant Gujarat summit stay with us here on beyond world is one that remains our continuing focus we are now available in your country download the app now get all the updates on the move